Hello everyone and welcome to Recovery College's Creating Wellness in Winter series. My name is Emma and I'm an occupational therapist and I co-facilitate with the Recovery College. During lockdown, I found that I wasn't able to do all the things that I needed to do that um, kept me well, which meant then I had to turn to other ways to occupy my time. I used to enjoy going shopping with friends and meeting for coffee and going to the gym, but I couldn't do that anymore. So I took to try to learn a new skill. Um, there's nothing I love more than being able to make things with my hands. So I decided that I would take up a new hobby, something that I want to show you how to make today, which is a do-it-yourself mini tapestry. Um, so everything that you're going to need I have laid out on the table. So it's nothing that you won't have in your house. You may even just need to pop out and buy some different types of wool. I like to use a variety of wools because I feel that it gives the tapestry more texture and it's a bit more interesting to look at. So what you're going to need is a variety of different wools, ranging from thick ones to thin ones and kind of different textures. Some nice thin cotton yarn, cardboard, just cut from a, a regular cardboard box. You're going to weave just using a regular bobby pin. If you have a darning needle then better again, but I like to use a bobby pin. Scissors, some tape and, and a pen and a ruler. And that's all there is to it. So to start, you want to cut your cardboard a bit larger than you want your tapestry to be. Um, mine was about six and a half inches by nine inches approximately, but it doesn't need to be exact. Then you want to make marks at the top, about half an inch apart and the same on the other side. I measured about 12 marks across the top on the bottom. You then want to get your scissors and cut half an inch down these marks. Then you want to choose your first yarn, a thin one is best. I used a thin cotton. Slide your yarn onto the first cut you make, leaving a few inches as a tail. You want to keep this to tie your loom at the end. And then pull your cotton down to the first cut at the opposite end. Wrap it around, pulling it back up to the top like so. Continue this pattern until you fill all your slits. Try to end at the top again and again. Leave a bit of a tail. Tape both these tails to the back of your loom because you're going to need to keep them for later. Put a spare piece of cardboard behind the yarn at the top and the bottom, both measuring about an inch wide. Pick your first yarn, a thin one is best to start with, um, and cut about an arm's length. You don't need to be too specific. Loop the beginning of the yarn onto your needle or bobby pin. Be begin by weaving your yarn through the vertical strands, alternating going over and under. When you get to the end, pull the yarn through, leaving a few inches at the end. Start weaving the other way, making sure you go the opposite way. So if you end it by going under, make sure you start this way by going over and vice versa. Go back and forth as many times as you like. I did four rows. Then cut the yarn and tie it beside. This is the easiest way to do it. It makes it not as neat as what you can do, but it's the easiest way to do it whenever you're starting off. Then you need to make your fringe. So cut pieces of yarn about a foot long, double them up and fold them in half. Slide that under two vertical strands and pull ends through the loop. Pull it tight to secure. Keep going until you reach the end of the row. Now you're going to start weaving. Choose a new colour of yarn to begin your next row. Weave under and over like you did the first time. Weave as many rows as you want in this colour. Tie the ends like you did before when you're finished. I wove my next one at an angle. I did this by weaving one less vertical strand in each row. You can do all straight rows, but I like the effect that this gives. Keep going with different wools until you get to near the top. Leave a gap at the top to give room to finish it off at the end. And now to finish your tapestry. Take all the loops off the bottom of the cardboard and tie the loop in knots with the loop next to it and so on. Trim off the excess yarn when all is tied. Remove tapestry from the top of the cardboard. Tie the tail that you've left around the top beside the top loop and tie that loop to the one beside it and continue till the end.
Tie the two tails together at the top so you can now hang your tapestry.